Yo, what's up, dudes? What's up? How's it going? Thought we would come on and take a closer look at this. The Steinberger ET Pro in Hot Rod Red. Uh, they actually also make a Hot Rod Yellow. Uh, what other colors? A Frost Blue. They make a black. They make a white. They make a black and white, which I think they call Yin Yang. Um, they also have a Quilt Top series, which I believe is available in like a dark red. I think there's a blue quilt top, and I'm pretty sure there's a charcoal quilt top as well. Uh, 25 and a half inch scale, three piece maple neck, basswood body. I could have sworn it was a rosewood fingerboard, but it's actually an engineered hardwood. Couldn't, I, it looks like rosewood, but it's not. It's engineered hardwood. Um, the frets are medium jumbo, and there's 24. Uh, double ball end string system. We'll talk about that a little bit more a little bit. And then the R trim, uh, double single double with the Steinberger pickups. Uh, they look active. They're not active. They're passive pickups. Uh, you have a volume and a tone and a five-way switch. And the five-way works as you would expect all the way back is the, the bridge, all the way forward is the neck and everywhere in between. And uh, the bridge also has a little lock in the back. We can lock it. I have it unlocked right now. But uh, where is it? Under here somewhere. There it is. There. Lock that goes up and locks the tremolo down if you want to make it essentially into a stop tailpiece. And uh, I guess that's about it. It's a zero fret. What am I missing? I think that's everything. Um... As far as the double ball end goes, I'm not a fan of it. It uh, drives up the cost of ownership because the double ball end uh, strings are uh, more expensive. Two to three times the cost of a regular string. It limits you by brand. It also limits you by string size. So there's a whole bunch of negatives to double ball end strings. The good news is for like 20 bucks, they make a wonderful little adapter that just uses Allen screws to clamp the strings down. You put the little adapter up there, you run the strings through the Allen screws, screw it down instead of the double ball end. And the next thing you know, you can use, you know, not any gauge, but a much wider variety of gauges, you know, than the double ball is available in uh, and any brand you want to use. So it really opens it up over, um, you know, the double ball system, which the only advantage the double ball system gives you is speed when changing strings. It is much faster, like lightning fast, but um, that's the only advantage. Everything else is a negative against it. So uh, I think if you get one of these, one of the first things you should buy for it is the, uh, the hex nut, um, you know, string clamp. That, uh, that's available, the, 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 the hex adapter. Uh, they're only like, I think it's $19.99 or something like that through Steinberger Direct and, um, you know, or whoever is a Steinberger dealer. And the, the really, um, it's so much better than a lot of the third-party solutions out there. I think eBay has a couple of people that make a third-party solution in like brass and aluminum. But frankly, it doesn't look as good. It doesn't look like it fits nearly as well. And the... Um, it seems like the one made by Steinberger is the best one out there. And it's black. And when you, when you put it on, it doesn't look like anything. I haven't put it on. I have one, but I haven't put it on it yet because I haven't broken a string. I broke one string. I went out and bought a set of double ball strings. And I was like, wow, this is expensive. And um, someone said, oh, you should get the adapter. And so I got the adapter for it. But since then, I haven't broken a string. So, you know. Uh, also has this little leg rest. I'm going to put the, you know, the guitar up on your leg and play without a strap. Uh, it's got a barrel end uh, connector, you know, like the nice high-end barrel style jack. And uh, this little screw back here is to adjust the tension for the, for the tremolo. And, and that's about the guitar 
specs. In a nutshell. That's a bit over the top. Uh, uh, just while I have this sound on, I'll, I'll play the neck pickup a little bit too. We in tune, yeah. Let's switch to a sound that's not so so over the top here. Like this one here. And I think what I need to do is off. That's the bridge. Here's the bridge in the middle. It's a little brighter, tempers it a little bit. Um, I also have my middle bridge screwed as far down as it would go because I don't like when my pick hits it. So on this particular guitar, the middle pickup is going to be really weak, see? Here's the middle and the neck. How much more gain because the neck pickup adds a lot more, you know. And then here's the neck all by itself. How much louder it gets. And again, that's just because I have mine screwed way down. When it, when it showed up, it was a lot closer to the strings, and I just felt like my pick was hitting it. Um, so I, I moved it away. But you may have no problem with it. I, I pick a little deep. It's been known. I'm a deep picker. The curse. Uh, um... finish this off with something a little a little stronger I have something a little something a little kooky <laughs> maybe uh, my old standby the dual heavy rig <laughs> Thank you. 
Steinberger GT Pro. A cool guitar, and they're cheap now. They're like under 400 bucks, whereas when they were originally out, they were like two grand. So, <laughs> which in today's money is like five grand. So, they've really come down in price. All right, dudes, there you have it. I'll leave links in the description. As always, thanks so much for hanging out. Rock on.